What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Chud's Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson and today we're gonna show you how we made this. <laughs> yeah, I make the sound effects. <laughs> Beautiful, delicious, smoky, plump, amazing. Barbecue. <laughs> That's right, folks. Me and Dave are here in Banbury teaching a wonderful group of people some lovely barbecue skills. We got brisket, we got ribs, we got sausage, we got beef cheeks, we got pickles. Anything else? Chicken. 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 <laughs> Coming up. Anyone recognize that backyard? That's right, folks. We are in the home of Mr. David. I'm not sure what his last name is, but I know it's not Wilson. <laughs> I do know it. I'm just not going to tell you. Yeah, I didn't tell him. How you doing there, Nick? Okay, you got a spot of tea? Yeah, we got our first spot of tea. <laughs> Dirty trash water. <laughs> or is it water? Are you a water or a water? Do you want a bottle of water? No, I got plenty of Miller Lite right here. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> so, Dave, what are we doing here this week? We are running a barbecue class. Uh, Wilson's, Chud's, mostly Chud's. They, they, they've come to my As you were working and I'm just like yeah. drinking beer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're doing barbecue class, Texas style barbecue class for around 30 people or so. Teaching them everything from brisket trimming, brisket cooking, ribs, sausage, turkey, uh, sauces, pickles, potato salad, everything. Going through everything from beginning to very end. It was a miracle that we sold those tickets. You know, it was right down to the wire, right? It was, yeah. It's just, I mean, I think the last one sold today. Big shout out to everyone who signed up. Sold out in 10 seconds, which is pretty crazy. But that's a good thing because that means we know we got to come back and do this again. But now, you know, we just had a little pizza. Feeling good. So we're going to get into trimming some briskets. Get a little prep done tonight, most of it tomorrow, and then class is whatever the next day is. Day off the Saturday. Saturday? I am... I'm just confused. The days are different in England. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're three days ahead. Even across the pond, folks. You gotta pat it dry. <laughs> it's been a minute since I turned the creek stone brisket. These are big boys. So I don't understand why everyone thinks Americans are such pigs. Get the bad sausage in. <laughs> <laughs> so, best fish and chips in town? <laughs> Probably in town. Definitely not in, in the UK. Oh my god. Just happy to see me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is sausage. Got a kebab. Some cotton chips. That looks good. And what's this green stuff? <laughs> um, mushy peas. <laughs> How mushy are we talking? That is mushy. Mm. That's like... I don't know why it's that color. That's an absurd amount of green. Have we introduced the namesake himself? Wilson! <laughs> Gotta say, this is quite the spread. I'm gonna start out with uh, one of these. What do you call these? Battered sausage? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know why they call them that. Dip it in the curry sauce. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's like a hangover cure right there. <laughs> it causes and cures that. <laughs> <laughs> Bones, what was your favorite part? Was it the mushy peas? <laughs> I think it was the, uh, the kebab. Yeah, I'm That's liking good. the amount of lamb here. Yeah. And for everyone who's watching that thinks they don't like lamb, you're wrong. Tell them they're wrong. They're wrong. Very yeah, wrong. Very wrong. But now, I think it's time for the official taste test. Oh, you look so regal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <so> <laughs> <gentle>. <laughs> It is the next day. We are back at Casa de Wilson. Had a lovely supper last night of some fish and chips. Finally got to knock that one off the old to-do list. Very tasty and, and uh, bones. I think we gotta get some more. Yeah, why not? Because it's absolutely everywhere. Very good stuff. It's about 10 in the morning. Caught a real average breakfast at a very average place, but Dave got the briskets on nice and early. Ooh, loving this pit by the way. Very profesh. Shout out to the boys over at Smoky Oak. Nice like 300 gallon, I believe. We got three of the briskets we trimmed last night, smoking away. This is 15 pounds, <laughs> not 15 money pounds. We'll grind it all up, we'll take 10 pounds out, make 10 pounds of sausage today, cure it overnight, smoke it tomorrow, and then at the class tomorrow, we'll take the remaining five pounds, we'll actually demo it live. Love it, love yeah. it. Beef and pork. Beef and pork. Brisket trim, got a little pork belly in there. Mm. Grind? Yep, we're gonna grind it four times actually. <laughs> just because I love that noise so much. Can we get away with just a single grind? Oh, yeah, definitely. yeah, that'd be fine. Should I have been on high that whole time? If, if you wanted it louder. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, I'll stick with my decisions. What do you got going on here, buddy? Beef cheeks. You get pre trimmed beef cheeks? Mm -hmm. Like, did you seal these up or is that how they came? No, that's how they came. We're good. Meat matters, ex dairy beef cheeks. Pretty good. Are these no are the ex dairy ones too? Yeah. 
very nice. They're huge. Mm -hmm. Pretty exciting. Say what you want about the UK. <laughs> Pre-trimmed beef cheeks. That's awesome. Do you know how much time this would have saved me? This would have taken years off my life yeah. at Leroy and Lewis. Over here, sausage making continues. We got some nice and fun sausage starter mix. On sale now at shopchuds.com or available here in the UK at Pro Smoke. Mm-hmm. Shut up, uh, but yeah, nothing fancy today. Just a standard, regular chud link. It's time to get casing. All right, first time making sausage in a different country. Everything went perfectly well. Definitely didn't forget the pink salt. Had to open up all the casings and restuff it or anything like that. But looking nice and plump. They are for the second time today. <laughs> Shh. Making some pork belly tacos. Pork belly tacos. Do you mess around with crispy skin belly? Oh yeah. I can't get enough. It's so good. So, so good. Um, I like to smoke it and then put it into the firebox to get the crispy crackling. Ooh. Yeah, because obviously the pit's insulated. Treat it like a, almost like a pizza oven. Mm -hmm. Let that top down heat, get a big fresh log on there, let the flames roll across the top. Oh yeah. And that's not what we're doing today. <laughs> <laughs> this is a revolutionary treatment called pork belly cooked like a brisket. <laughs> I made it up last night. Mm. Is that your new rub? Uh, no, I couldn't find anything else. This is a chud rub. <laughs> Got the beef cheeks cooking away. Brisket's looking nice. A little pork belly. Gotta say, Dave, I'm liking your setup back here. Mmm, it's nice, isn't it? Except for this part. It's fine. <laughs> Beautiful. You said you got these on around 7? Yeah, about 7 a.m. Cold smoking for a bit. Five hours deep, looking good. Beef cheeks are looking barky. Smelling nice. It's a good day. And on today's episode of Bones Tries Weird Things from the UK, what do we got, buddy? Bovril. Beef Bovril. High protein beef paste. From what I understand, it's kind of like Marmite or any other ye yeasty extract, but made from beef. And it's illegal in the United States because of mad cow disease, so. <laughs> Here we go. That's so salty. <laughs> Is it beefy? That's good. I'd put this in water and make a tea. Oh. <laughs> Pretty good. Beef tea. It's not really a tea, it's just like a it's like drinking stock. Like beef stock is good. Yeah. It's got a unique smell. It's very uh <laughs> bovrily. Bovrily. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I would eat that. It's it's good. It's not bad. Oh god, it's so thick. <laughs> How do you make this? Is the real question. God, that's unique. Very salty. Yeah, not bad. All right, right. Do you eat this often? I haven't eaten that in probably 20 years. <laughs> but it is good. To tell you what might be good is using it as a, like maybe uh, diluting it with some water or mm. pickle juice and using it as a binder because it is just pure beef flavor. Yeah. And a Bloody Mary, that'd be good. Maybe some pickles. Yes, sir. What was the last time you uh, cooked some barbecue? Last weekend. Nice. Yeah. Just for you or? Yeah, just for me. On the tray dinner. Bones is preparing his specialty. What do you got there, bud? Oh my god, shrimp. Probably should have done the, the bigger colander. So like anyone who cooks barbecue for a living will tell you, while the briskets are cooking, we're eating seafood. <laughs> Smells better than that bovel on wheat. That is a good smelling seafood boil, bud. He grew the uh, seafood himself. Mm -hmm. I like it. Who is this uh, boil from? Is it Decatur? Decatur? Decatur. 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 Delicious. Decatur in London. Yeah, we're gonna dive into this. Real good. Well, that was certainly a fantastic seafood feast. Great lunch, too. Not too heavy. A lot of butter, though. Let's check in on the barbecue. Good looking skits. How are they feeling? Yeah, good. Okay, got some nice render going on there. Mm -hmm. Got that crunchy bark. Yeah, not too crunchy. Beef cheeks are looking phenomenal. Got a little pork belly up top looking great. What's happening now? Well, not because these are frying. Oh, is that tallow a little too hot? Yeah. Oh, nice. We should throw the pork belly in there. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. I did. <laughs> we got some little strips left over, so we just threw them off for funsies, so. Yeah, might as well do that. I mean, those beef cheeks might be a bit overdone, but. That's hilarious. I haven't done that in a long time. I used, that happened to me at Leroy and Lewis a few times, where I got the tallow too hot. <laughs> I'm, I think we just spent too long eating shrimp oil. I mean. time focusing on Oh, that. no. Do you have another quart of unrendered fat? Or, yeah. Or unmelted? Do you mean dripping? Sorry, dripping. Yeah. yeah. If you just throw a few chunks in there, it'll drop the temp. That's how you get that uh, patented crispy bark. <laughs> it's a quick little deep fry and beef dripping. Oh, wow. All right, prep for the class is going well. Pickles are made. Potato salad is getting knocked out. Got some pickled onions getting ready to go. Papa Gambino over here has got these potatoes boiling. He's the boil guy this week. <laughs> boil the shrimp, boil the potatoes. Briskets are looking good. Beef cheese are. Uh... Comfy. Oh yeah, the beef cheeks are in coffee. Yeah, going very smooth day. How's the tater salad coming? It's coming. 
Ooh, big boy. <laughs> Getting a little later in the day. Just foil boated these beautiful briskets, looking very nice. Beautiful bark on there, should be done pretty soon. Now it's time for everybody's favorite game, Bones Eats Something Funny from the UK. This episode featuring Flame Grilled Whoppered, Whoppered? <laughs> these Doritos have been Whoppered. <laughs> What do you think? Burger not included. Kinda oh. disappointed on this one. That's a shame. Find out. I have high hopes. I miss a, an American cheeseburger. Yeah, it's been a day and a half. That's so bad. Really? That's so Take bad. I'm dropping. Tastes like just burnt bread. Oh! <laughs> it's tastes really like, bad. Tastes like chocolate. Yeah. Not good. Oh, you love it. It does taste like chocolate. That's so bizarre. <laughs> it tastes like beef flavored crisps in the UK. Okay. That's what it tastes like. All beef flavored crisps taste like that. Really? Mm -hmm. It's so bizarre. That is so, not at all what I expected. Yeah. I was expecting like a mustard heavy, beefy, Imagine like that. burger flavor, yeah. right? Onion. I mean, forget that they are whopper flavored. Are they, that, are they terrible? Yeah, I don't like them. They're bitter. They taste like burnt They're toast. Bitter and sweet. Yeah, you, you, ooh, weird. All right, that was an adventure. Look at this beautiful chunk of meat. Tell me about this beef. This is X Dairy, as in it used to be a dairy cow. X Dairy beef, not put down or put out to pasture to just live its life out. It has been turned into some delicious, well marbled, tasty, dry aged beef. It's got the best marbling I've seen on a steak in a long time. Yeah, it's good stuff. I'm shocked. I mean, it looks amazing. Smells great. Nice, thick boy. Who's this from? Meat Matters in the UK. Delicious. This whole uh, this whole situation just has Evan Leroy's name all over it. Taking an old dairy cow and finishing it off properly. God, that looks good. Oh, yes, please. Woo! Dripping. Looks so good. Lovely cooked on that. Beautiful crust. Bones, we've been eating really well since we got here. Yeah, yeah. It's not all boiled meat. I know, who knew? From the heavens. That looks a little bit tastier than the Bovril. Bovru. Sorry. Bovril. Do you think it's nice big enough? Beer. On this episode of Bones Eats Weird <laughs> Things. <laughs> this is weird. It's a little weird coming from a dairy cow. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Is it good? Mm hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Oh, it's good. Mm. Oh, yeah. The charcoal flavor is perfect. Nice and salty. Dude, it's so marbled. Yeah, that's tender. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. All right, world, you heard it here first. Start eating the dairy cows. The day has come. We are up in, where are we at? Banbury. Bunbury. It is the day of the class. Yeah, we woke up around five this morning, drove out here. It's only about 20 minutes from Dave's place, but got the pits set up. Got this nice big Shirley. Looks like a 250. And we got a Franklin pit, which is pretty cool. Never actually cooked on one of these before, but I'm feeling good. We got the beef cheeks out of the confit. Dave's in there trimming up some ribs. About to get these sausages cold smoking and uh, yeah, excited for our class. And this guy got to drive a car briefly. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> How many of these are we cooking? Well, we're gonna do four racks total. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cook some now and then we'll just demo a whole rack later. Okay. Get, get you to demo it. Here at Pro Smoke, Bones, let's go look around. This place is awesome. Importer of all things barbecue here to the UK. And uh, they've got some really, really great stuff here. <laughs> look, you, you shipped this here. <laughs> On the way. <laughs> The old Chud Trivet. It's magical. In only 39, what are they called, Franks? <laughs> In only 39 pounds. How many kilos do you think that is? Three? No. I don't even know how many pounds it is. <laughs> nice wood. Got some Franklin charcoal. Got some pizza ovens. Whole bunch of Yeti stuff. And pretty soon, we're gonna get some Chud boxes up in here, right? Yeah. That'll be cool. That'll be cool. How do you like this Shirley pit? That's good pit. Runs steady, it's pretty even across as well, which makes it good for classes. Great looking rub on that, what is that? Shirt rub, now available online at chudsbarbecue.com. And? Pro smoke. Are you ready, Dave? I'm are ready. Are you ready to make some food? Mm -hmm. How, are you happy we got some early birds here to watch you prep and set up? Yeah, well, why am I prepping and setting up? What are you doing? Oh, dude, I'm already drinking beer. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just here for show. <laughs> What's for breakfast? Bacon rolls. Love it. Bacon baps, bacon butties. <laughs> <laughs> 
English breakfast. Bacon on the grill. Sure. Gotta love it. Ollie, left handed handshake. Nice Thanks for having me at Pro Smoke, buddy. Finally, we managed to land you. I was gonna say, we've been talking like, about this Between you years. and Dave, you guys are super hard to get, but this is this is big for UK barbecue. This is big time. Yeah, I'm excited. Everyone yeah. seems happy, everyone seems hungry. You ready to cook some food? Absolutely, yeah. We've got plenty to cook. Love it, love it. How you feeling? Good. A couple of Miller Lights already. Lights. <laughs> Miller Lights. That's what I'm missing. I haven't started beer yet. <laughs> Let's get going. Let's get going. Um, it's just a slab of pork belly from John Davidson's Butchers, online butchers again. You guys have probably heard them, uh, used them in the past. Um, so what we did was cover it in chud rub yesterday. Uh, we smoked it on the offset until it was tender, rested it overnight in butcher paper. So I'll show you just one of them, like how, how I would recommend we serve it. That looks good. Nice. Too bad. Onions. Uh, we'll show you how to make these in a bit. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so that's how I do it. So on this episode of Bones Tries Weird UK Food, <laughs> this is what they like to call a taco. I'm not sure. It's a taco. It's it's a bloody taco. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good taco. Taco, taco, taco. Pork belly, pickled onions, cilantro, and feta, and hot honey. I think you mean coriander. <laughs> I don't mean coriander. <laughs> and I think you mean hot bumble bum juice. <laughs> The tortilla, not great. <laughs> Everything else is really good. I agree. All right, we're halfway through the class. We got our brisket on. We got some turkey. Well, let's just look. Beautiful turkey boobies. A little baby coal. Got some beef cheeks in confit. Brisket smoking away. Got some ribs going. And uh, yeah, things are going smooth. Everyone's really mean to me, though. Lies, <laughs> lies. <laughs> but there's plenty of good beverages. We are dangerously close to being done with this class. Dave, how's it going? It's going good. It's tight. It's hard. It's busy. That really just summed it up. I mean, things are going pretty well. The sausage is looking good. Turkeys are looking good. Ribs yep. are off. Ribs are looking Briskets good. Briskets are done. We got some chickens cooking. We'll go see those in a minute. I'm about to make a mop sauce and then Mr. Potato Salad himself. That's me. <laughs> and the washer upper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be in much worse shape without this guy. <laughs> Connor is the guy. Yeah. Right. yeah. I could literally couldn't do a class without him. <laughs> What's your handle? Uh, Doghouse Barbecue. Go follow. Go follow. <laughs> but yeah, I'm ready to be done. Dave, you look like you're ready to be done. <laughs> <laughs> ready for a beer. I don't know if I look tired or if I've drank too many little lads. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> nice looking chickens, Dave. Mm. The class is over. We served everyone a big pile of food. Everything went swimmingly according to him. We uh, had a couple of cheeky pints after the class. All right, on this episode of Bones, try something weird from the UK. What do we got, boys? Uh, it's a scampi and lemon flavor cereal snack. <laughs> Get your nose in. the bag. <laughs> it smells good. Honestly, this guy eats dried squid for fun, so... I would absolutely get these all the time. Have a little smell of your fingers. Have a sniff. Have a sniff. <laughs> yeah, it's good. No, it's really good. Dave, how'd the class go? It went all right. It was good. A lot of food. Everyone seemed happy. Had a couple of brewskis. As far as yeah. my first international class goes, uh -huh. I think it was a great time. Yeah, people good loved time. it. But there's only one way to really end this day, <laughs> and that's with uh, another episode of Bone. Bones drinks weird stuff <laughs> from the UK. What do we got, buddy? Not this. Oh, that's Miller Lite. All the, quick side note, Dave, thanks for importing Miller Lite for us. That's right. Everyone at the Miller class Lite. was shocked that we had <laughs> Miller Lite. I drove four hours to a US Air Force base to pick them up. Four cases. Yeah. Yep. We drank them all. <laughs> <laughs> And nothing goes better with a Miller Lite quite like some bullfrew beef extract. This time made into a lovely tea. Let's look as you can see. Can I just say, like, I have never once in my entire <laughs> life drank anything that looks like that. <laughs> Lies. This Lies. is not Lies. He loves it. This it is looks not like what, tea. It looks like tea. It looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Smell it. That's hot. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it tastes like beef ramen. Wow. Yeah. But yeah. less salty. Yeah. Should we add I just, the Lowry's to it? Let's get some noodles. <laughs> I mean, Lowry's in it. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, hello. It's the next morning. We may or may not have made the best decisions last night. Something about getting up at 5 a.m. and going to bed at 3 a.m. And how are you feeling, Dave? Better. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed our little barbecue class. Big shout out to Mr. Dave Wilson over here. That's still not your name. Everyone go follow Dave Wilson's barbecue. Shout out to Pro Smoke. Thank you for putting on this class. A lot of fun. We definitely gotta do this again. Oh yeah. If you are in the UK and you want to get some barbecue supplies, some chud rubs, all sorts of smokers, or pretty much anything, be sure to check out Pro Smoke in Banbury. Cool place, a lot of great stuff. Big shout out to everyone who came out to the class. It was a lot of fun. Some great food. I th we made too much food. Yeah. Which is much. which is great. Yeah. But other than that, that's going to do it for this chapter of the European adventure. So be sure to tune in next week because right now we're going to Metopia. Peace.